Can we proceed? This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't want to silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Uh, got it. Can I get you hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. Come on, do your patriotic duty. Hey, hey, please, please. I, I don't know what this is about. Nothing here is screaming new address. It's so heavy! No, you, you can't. No, 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 no. I'm rude. I got bristled. Take it like a man. <laughs> Mr. Javan. Oh, why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home, home theater. He lives in Chumash, the right field of the Western Highway. Oh. That wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember. Terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. He had a fun. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for... <laughs> Stop! Thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, 
I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. No, please. Break him, Mr. Phillips. I don't need the jump stuff. I am ready to talk. No, no, no. Not the clips. <laughs> Not that. Whoa, whoa. Turn him off. Please. You can't. What does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too God. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. Oh, okay. I remember, I remember. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. I'm scared of drowning. It's torture. Don't do it. Ow! Not the water. No. Don't do it! Look at me. I am a genuine government man. I don't see what all the fuss is about, personally. Let up! He might drown! Yep, he comes! <coughs> I thought I was dead! <coughs> the government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no, no. Please, no, 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 no yeah? Tell me the truth. Bushy beard? You got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Jumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until no. you give us some intel on our target. He's a... he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Jim. maybe one more time? Just to be sure. Oh, please, no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. Do the right thing, Phillips. You ought to say this, man. I, I, you do it for fun. Put it down to bureaucracy, friend. I got brittle bones. Please don't hit me! No! 
no! I hope you're not a steer! Ah! Hasn't this man done enough for national security? Rise and shine! What am I? Mr. K. Uh, I, 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 Mr. I don't K. Know anything. Please. Uh, it's okay. He, he chain smokes. He, he's left handed. What's that? He, he chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> and these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes. Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. A redwood cigarette. Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a th Oh, fuck! You get kicks out of killing innocent women now? The report I'm gonna have to write. Steve, he fucked it. Al, I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. What are you thinking? Dude, fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Come on. Just torture me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. How you feeling? I need to get to the hospital. Nah, you're fine. I can assure you I am not. No one likes a crybaby. You look great. Let me see the mirror. I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. To a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? And why are you helping me? I told you. I don't like being told what to do. Being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Now who you work for? IAA? The IAA? Want you dead as well, don't you remember? The Marshal? Global Poo who? Global Poo? Did you say Global Poo? I work for the forces of sanity. Sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. What do you mean? You've got a message. You are a message, yeah? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture? That's my bag. But there are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. They think it'll get them somewhere. We gotta call bullshit on that. Torture's not gonna make you normal friends or get you information. 
I am slipping out of consciousness. Am I dying? Ah. You're not dying. Being a bit of a wuss. I know people who would pay good money for what you just enjoyed. I would. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. I'm so sorry. It was an honest mistake. Me. Run. You're free. What? My family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here. All right. Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really, now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. 